It's good enough. <laughs> I don't want to repeat that terrible joke. <laughs> Welcome everybody to Kicking with a Compa. I'm Sammy Gonzalez. What is this about a clean fade? I, I was gonna tell a Martin joke, uh -huh. which was yeah, cleaner than Steve Harvey's fade in the '90s. He didn't have a fade he in the have, '90s, did he not? That was an edge up. He had a clean edge up in the '90s. I didn't know that was correct to say that was wrong. Hi everybody, I'm Sammy <laughs> Gonzalez, aka the Mexicans. Welcome to the show. It's not the sports show because I'm leaving on Thursday and Marcos was like, you need to do a show because I'm tired of doing all the shows. And he was correct. So I'm here to I like do it. a kick it with the compas. What, him doing the shows? Not like the switch up. Oh, yeah. Gotta yeah. keep it fresh for the people and confuse the shit out of them. Yeah. All the people, with them. people ready for sports talking about how um, the Raiders completely blew it. We're not talking about that. <laughs> we'll tomorrow, talk about no, Thursday it. either. Well, yeah, we are. Thursday, we're, we're not talking about it at all in my home it's when gonna I'm gonna be gone. a whole segment. But. You have a two-parter today. Um, if my guest decides to come, uh, we will have this episode of Kicking with the Compas, and then following in the same episode live, you're going to have a Mas o Menos Mexicanos, where we talk about the Black Penta and how Tommy changed his... I know what that is. The Black Penta? Yeah. Oh, Black Panther. Yeah. you got to say it in America. No, it's Isaiah Wakandan okay. like the ethnicity calls oh, for it, too. No. As but, I've told many white people, I've never been to Africa, oh. so I don't know. So how would you, Black Panther? Is that what you would say in LaGrange? I know, I knew what you were saying All right, right then. There, well, yeah. so we'll watch out for that. We're going to talk about some other stuff before our guest comes in. Our guest is going to be uh, Emiliano from the Austin, or rather, no, Texas Whiskey Society. Um, hopefully he brings some fun. If he doesn't, he's, he's going to bring some guy. insight. He's a funny guy. He's going to bring some insight into He'll the right in. Mesoamerican uh, indigenous. Goliath hasn't seen Black Panther. Huh? Goliath, what the fuck? Goliath, one what of fuck, your parts man? of you like, is what black. Are you doing? One of the many ethnic parts of you is black, <laughs> I'm sure. I think Haitian is one of them. And there is actually a, a parts in, ha in Haiti. So yeah. if I'm wrong on all of that, I'm sorry. So Goliath I is thought, Haitian now? I thought Goliath was part Haitian. At least okay. Island. At Maybe least he is. I don't know. Goliath, I thought Goliath, you were Haitian. Tell us what Tell us what race you tell us what you are. The many we races. Don't know. Yeah. I know it's multiple. <laughs> and there is statistical chance that they are Haitian, okay? So As long as they're colored, it's fine. right. It's yeah, exactly. As long as he's colored, exactly. I don't care. Goliath, what are you? <laughs> he said, <laughs> <laughs> That's fine. I got about three of those before uh before I run uh, Was it run me out calling you colored? Uh, I think that, that's that, just pretty that bad altogether. Some people, and I don't know why. No, I think you know what it is? I think it might be like Trinidad and Tobago, which is like the not the same. Oh. It's like calling me a Puerto Rican. I'd be furious. I don't know where it is. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what ethnicities. I know there's many, but it's Goliath a lot, is a, a lot great, in the islands. A great fan of ours, and so we're going to I love Goliath. learn it. He's my favorite. But for the compas, I'm Sammy Gonzalez, the compa, and then we have over there who's been talking the entire time with me. Oh, me, Tommy. Hey. And on the other <laughs> side, we have another gentleman who wasn't on our review last time. He give a little bit of insight about the Black Panther we have. It's a me, JJ. <laughs> can, we make, can someone remake a Mario game with JJ? <laughs> we already Mario. did a bit where I was the grow Mario when he held my. Uh, no, I want magic. him. To, he should be Mario. Well, I, I, anybody's better Mexican than me. Mario, Pratt. yeah. Mario. <laughs> <laughs> it's me, Mario. Somebody sent me. I think it was Key, actually. Key sent me. I don't know why that's so funny. <laughs> I would love for that to be a real thing. What? It was just like, it's me, Mario. And then cracking something open. <laughs> it's me, Mario. <laughs> Tommy is Bowser. I don't oh, know that'd be that great. Works. Hold on. No, but uh, he actually sent me something that made me crack up. Oh, wait. Goliath is, god damn, Goliath. Jamaican, well, Jamaican Samoan. Jamaican, Samoan, Barbados. See, I knew it was Barbados. What the fuck? Hey, Barbados was the one. Because if you call All someone from islands. Barbados, Haitian, they're going to get pissed. I'd imagine. That. Yeah. Okay. Jam and Jamaican, Holy Samoan, shit, Goliath, and, Bar and Barbadian. This. Gonna go see it this weekend. D uh, did family pics with mom and younger sister. Oh, that's oh, that's nice. But see, actually, someone screenshot that. I gotta remember that. Sex Panther for hey, Baker no, Man. <laughs> Rihanna's from Barbados, which she does the soundtrack, which the song is featured Let in the movie Black Panther. Me down. Yeah, it got stuck in your head. Didn't it? it did. Yeah, told it's you, like stop it. Told you Enough is too much. They were really gonna. I knew they were gonna pull it out at the right time, and they did. Hold on, I gotta show you what. Did Key send it to me individually? Where did he? Uh, they put up a "It's a Me Mario," but it was a 3D printed Mario body, mm -hmm. but with a Chris Pratt's 3D printed <laughs> head. Oh no! It was very obnoxious. That's I kind of hated it. That's disturbing. And he goes, and it's him making fun of the voice. He goes, "It's a me, a Mario." <laughs> it, it, it really rustles my jimmies, to be honest. No, I don't want to see it. 
I sent it on Insta. She sent it on Insta. Okay, thanks. I want to see thanks, it, Keith. No, you got to see oh, it. Oh, God damn Because it's it. the only thing that's relevant to this conversation. By the way, Compass, if you don't know if it's your first time here because you're expecting a sports Just show, talk about is our things. random freeform really conversation. Random. But we do have one thing we want to talk about. We're going to talk about Elon Musk. I am Musk. drinking this sports show punishment beer, though. Exactly. I owe Mark a new one. <laughs> oh, I owe you a peanut butter stout because I drink that, what? too. Yeah, that's fine. Oh, I what are you guys a, doing here? I don't know. It was uh, Corey's. Okay, we took sense. it over to Corey's. Uh, oh, okay. I got it. It was leftover. Hold on. <laughs> <laughs> there it is. A Mario. <laughs> now look at this. It's a me. A Mario. I hate that. Now look at this. this. Oh, yeah. is this like a whole bunch of toy mashups? Because it's like uh, uh, Cell and Vegeta. Yeah. This is weird. Oh, that's kind of neat, though. Oh, uh, the eternal dragon. What's up? Liliano is on the chat. He wants to know. How do I get in the apartment? Okay. Uh, yeah. Our special guest is here. Uh, I'll open the gate. I will open the front gates. Go in the... Actually... Oh. He says he got it. Never mind. There we go. Uh, and then... Was it? DJ oh. Lemon was right. The code is... <laughs> that would be a great code. Likik <laughs> Talokan! How does it, uh, never mind. Did you hear about the Pokemon app? That, I did want to bring that up. I actually did want to bring that up what? to start. Um, a boy one. But your boy, everyone's boy one. Ooh. I'm a little bit mad about it though. What? Ash Ketchum. Ash Ketchum, baby. One what? He's the world champ. He is the very best. I we like knew no that one ever was. <laughs> the song told us he was. No, he said, "I wanna be the very best." So it's best. official now. Yeah. yeah. It took him 25 years. Is it a 25 movie? 25 years? Nah, he's still nine. Was it a movie? <laughs> I know it's not a show anymore. It's, no, it's absolutely a show. a show still. It's still on? Yeah. Yeah. Did it ever go off? No. no. It's been since I was a, a, a teenage mm -hmm. yes. child kid. Yes. Tween. Yes. This shit has still been a continuous story. Mm -hmm. It's like one piece. And this just, motherfucker just, he sucks. He's well, he's terrible. actually the world champion now. I mean, but no, he never played higher. It only took 25 years, huh? He, in like the first nine no, years of the show. One. What? He's still 10. How does time work then? <laughs> Every episode's a day. <laughs> no, that still doesn't match up. Hold on, does that matter? No, match? that Depends. does not match up. Hold on, let me see. Because I watched it every day. How many? <laughs> Which means he should be my oh, age and Ash better. Ash is eleven. My bad. He had a birthday once. So. Ash should be thirty. <laughs> so he's ten years old Ash when he left, be right? Thirty-eight years. Yeah, old. Yeah, he was ten when he left. And an alcoholic. Okay. All right. All right. <laughs> and he should be like hot boxing Pikachu. That's what he would be doing right now. Hold on, hold on. I have some math. I don't like this. I have this some math Simpsons to do. This is math. Because it was his 10th birthday, right? Yeah. And he had one birthday? Uh, so let's to say Joe that Jira. one... Huh? <laughs> according to Joe Jira, yeah. He, had yeah, he would be 37 to 36. <laughs> if he actually Angry at aged. the world. Right. But let's take a look at the anime world. If Ash Ketchum aged one day per episode, there's 1,215 episodes. Oh, we're doing, I don't, I'm so clocking out. We're doing. How that. many years is 1,215 days? It's like four. 3.33 3 years. So she, he should be at least be 13. He should at least be 13. <laughs> Not 11. I would have accepted 13. Because I would have accepted like uh, the 24, that move, that show, where it was like each episode <laughs> was an hour. <laughs> right. But it was 22, it was 24 episodes. Yeah. yeah. And he murdered like 35 people in that one season. And tortured a few. Yeah. Also, he tortured never, a few. When does he take a dump? Like, and there's no traffic in LA. <laughs> Jack Bauer. Jack, Jack. <laughs> no. The. The internet has the answer. He takes a dump during the commercial break. Choo -choo, choo -choo. Okay, smart Jack Bauer. You got Jack be Bauer power dump. So anywhere, because he's in random. He's, he's in places where there are no bathrooms. He was in the he woods. He just once. drops trow and <laughs> lets it rip. Goddamn Jack okay. Bauer, man. Meanwhile, Red from the Manga is twenty years old. See. A little bit makes sense, but Tommy, look at the world champ. Do you recognize any of those Pokemon that's with him other than Pikachu? I didn't even see Pikachu there. So Pikachu's no. there. Who's the blue guy? I have no fucking clue. Lucario. How about the orange guy? Dragonite. Dragonite. Yeah, it's Dragonite. Purple there. guy? Per Gengar. Oh, yeah. This blue guy, I have no fucking have no clue. That one you got me on. Is. Yeah. <laughs> and then that's... He's very that's prominent. That's Farfetch'd. You know, it's Farfetch'd, but it's a, I don't know if it's a mega evolution or the next evolution it's up. It's Galarian. There you go. And it's got, instead of a leak to the just hit people with... What the fuck is that thing? It's a sword. It's a leak, but he uses it as a sword. 
How powerful is he? I don't know. Enough Major? to win the world championship, I guess. Mm. Was he the <laughs> what? Was he the wild card? I, I don't know. I no, no Pikachu, Pikachu. I don't like Pikachu it. Be the to take that thing off the. Yeah, I don't like that Pokemon. That's Anthony Davis. That is not a. <laughs> oh, no. Um, Sir Fetch. Yeah. No, seriously though, what's the blue thing? What is the blue character? What is? That? I haven't watched in twenty five years, twenty four oh, years. No. Yeah. Perhaps. I watched, Maybe twenty three. I watched like one season and I was out. Uh, I played the games for a little bit. Uh, yeah, I got up to Crystal and I, I completely moved on to Dragon Ball Z. Yeah. Well, I I, I played Crystal was the last Game Boy game I had. That was the okay. last Pokemon game I played consistently, and even then I didn't get that far in there. Right. Um. So I don't know what the hell that blue one is, but. The he one, freaks me out. He really does. Yeah. I don't like the Pokemon with the it's big gaping mouth. Very disturbing, mouths. yeah. Like just hollow. In the weird Kermit eyes. Yeah. He's got Kermit eyes. But I have a question. Oh, a Corvish. Yeah. A Corv... Arco- it's a terrible Arcovish. fucking name for a Pokemon. I've been more into the Pokemon manga. I messaged JJ about on Instagram. Yeah. <laughs> you guys have been talking the manga. But here's the thing that really upset me about this Ash Ketchum news. Not that he won the world championship. Anime works that way. Mm-hmm. I'm glad it took him 25 years. They got that much content out. Now he has to deal with the aftermath right. of being the champion. Yes. I was sick of the people that were like, oh, yeah, my childhood is now complete. Really? That's yeah, we are. They're like, life. this is an ending part of my childhood. I was like, that's fucking your childhood's terrible. been over. That makes me very sad. You ha- you all take a medication at this point. If you're watching Pokemon as a child, you take a medication, whether it be for your knees, for your heart, for your elbows, for your back. You're taking a medication. You're old children don't take medication. When you started taking that medication, is when you stop. What being channel a child. does this come on? I don't even know. Well, this is in Japan. They, this is okay. This one hasn't aired sense. in America yet. Uh, it makes sense. They got to okay, dub it and stuff. Gotcha. Pikachu. Say, like, did I miss something? Because I could have sworn it was off air. Because yeah. WB Kids is no longer a thing. <laughs> it's what's WB Kids ended. <laughs> it was, That's when your childhood ended. When Ab- WB Kids oh, stopped absolutely. airing. No more Freakazoid. Disney. What? I don't trust Disney and <laughs> Pokemon at all. Oh yeah, we fought. yeah maybe. See, they should Cartoon do a classic Network. anime time jump and make Ash forty now. Cartoon Network, yeah, it would be on Cartoon Network. What's Cartoon Network doesn't exist anymore in like 25 minutes. It exists. Well, they got rid of all the they're gonna fire shows. Them. They're going to fire everybody. Because that guy's a lunatic. Yeah. yeah. And that guy is, in fact, a lunatic. But that's a nice little breaking point to pivot to the collapse of uh, Twitter. So get on in here, Emiliano. Oh, my God. What'd you bring? Whiskey. Oh, my God. <laughs> he brought a... Wh- oh, they're right there underneath the ice machine. This is the ones you got me right there, cleaned and washed. Balcones, Texas Bach. Well, let's do some promo first. Just three. Um, yeah, just the three. And then we'll go ahead. I'll make some room for you over here. Uh, we'll go ahead and give you TJ's fuzzy. And then we'll talk about Elon Musk. And then we'll do our segment. Uh, we'll actually do that as a separate episode in the same vein. So we're good here. But everybody, please you warm your hands and fingers. That's not how you applaud people. <laughs> <laughs> Emiliano of the ATX Whiskey Society. Yes, oh, look at yes, he's sir. got the Akuma beads. Oh, Welcome, everybody. Old to Jason Momoa. <laughs> he's younger than Jason Momoa. No, he shaved <laughs> off all that shit. So, yeah. Oh, that's right. Like old Kanye. Oh, <laughs> yeah. oh, yeah, that's right. That's got to watch out with that computer. I know. Right? Oh, yeah, <laughs> I didn't just, mean it like that. Just being a bully. He at this loves point. Jewish people. Yeah. <laughs> Just saying, yeah. Yeah, I mean, real quick, you guys talked about Kyrie and Kanye real quick. Yeah, I don't know if we did. Yeah, you did. You did. did. Yeah, when I was gone. And yeah, stop messing with Jewish people. Shut up. It's the flavor of the week, man. It's just (laughs) it's the hate flavor of the week. I know. Like I said, it's a spinny wheel. Black people are the default. If you know, it's just like, oh, we got nobody this month. Otherwise, they'll spin that bitch. It'll land on Jewish people, Mexicans. Gay people, trans, right. just you know, it's the hate wheel, right? And they gotta hate somebody at all times. They, they gotta hate somebody at all times. At all times, it's just like, man. Well, first, just in my experience, I don't like. I only personally have ever known maybe less than ten Jewish people in my life, just because California, at least the Central Valley, didn't have many of them, at least around right. me where I was. Yeah. And then I come here, and the first uh, is it Hasidic Jewish, Jewish people Hasidic. galore Hasidic. here. Yeah. Well, yeah, well they, yeah. I, there was a deli, a kosher deli in the H E B, and I was like, I think I'm in the Jewish community. This is kind of nice. Well, each H E B, depending on neighborhood, has different things. different things. Yeah. So yeah, I was like, I saw so you in the uh, Jewish neighborhood of Austin, right? Yeah. And I say Hasidic Jews. I always want to say Hasidic Jews, but that's not. 
not a real thing. I don't think that's a thing. Nah, <laughs> that's, that's a very, like, very dangerous thing to say. Bro. I thought I acidic was like acid. yeah, yeah, anti, I, yeah, anti yeah, citric yeah. acid. Yeah, hey, your step. Well, acid in general. Right. Yeah. No, no, but like I don't use the word Hasidic. I don't even know what it means, quite frankly. Right. I just know it's the name of them yeah. of that type of Jewish person. Yeah. So it's like very close, but I, n- I never say it. But I'm always just like eh, okay, enough. It's the uh, head rabbi actually used to go to the hookah lounge that I was manager at for a, like a fat minute. Yeah, really cool. Dude. <laughs> <laughs> Musa. Hey, shout out Musa. <laughs> shout out. If you're, if you're, he was the head, the head uh, rabbi of Texas. So it was, oh my god! Oh, yeah, yeah, dude was like. So Big he money. Like oh, hell yeah. He's like the Pope. He's like Ash Ketchum. He collected them all. Yeah. Whatever reward to be the head, the leader of Texas Jewish people. So he I feel got like them all. that's an honor. Yeah. yeah it's, it's a hell of an honor. Uh, that's pretty dope. Of all of Texas? Of all of Texas. Like four states. Dude, if I was yeah. the anything of all of Texas, that'd be pretty cool. Be like, if, I was the number be, one, yeah. if I was the number one like Kool-Aid drinker in all of Texas, that'd be the great... Actually, no. Wasn't that Waco where they had the cult? Never mind. Oh, yes, yeah, it was. That no, was, that wasn't no, Kool-Aid well, cult. That, was that Kool-Aid was actually cult. California. No. That was you guys. Oh, that's right. Well, then yeah. that's even yeah. worse. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Kool-Aid was... Uh, no, Waco was the biker Waco. fires. Well, no, no. so yes, FB, but he yeah. was from Waco. And then he didn't... Wasn't he from Waco? No, that guy was an actor. In Hollywood, they had the Nikes. The Nikes. Yeah, and yeah they drank Heaven's Kool-Aid. Gate. Heaven's Gate. Heaven's, yeah, yeah. Which one California. is Waco? Waco is... Waco was the one where The Branch they, Davidians. Yeah, Waco was the, the FBI. Hell? Yeah. Yeah, was Fucking the, it up. The whole siege <laughs> took like a month. It yes. took a long ass yeah. time. Yes, yeah, it, yeah, was it a took month. a while. It was like yeah. a month. <laughs> it was a month. It like Point a bunch is, of people Point is, we're the died. problem, not the Jewish people. Leave the Jewish people alone. I don't know how we got on cults. <laughs> it's him. <laughs> Smoking me. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I Sam drank some the right hey, Kool-Aid. No, 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 no. I'm, I'm, I'm just, giving you a hard time. I'm like, sorry, man. Shit. All right, I just seen already. Jesus I just, I just wanted to yell about Ash Ketchum. I don't know how we got on cults. I just wanted some Kool-Aid. Like, what the Kool-Aid. The only way we went to the branch of the I don't know how we got there. You know why? Because I said I wanted to be the best anything in Texas, and literally the first thing I thought that I could be the best thing at was drinking Kool-Aid. Best cult leader. Like actual Kool-Aid, like not poison. You gotta lead by example. (laughs) Best cult leader. (laughs) I think I'd, like, I would never want to do a cult because too much pressure, but I feel like it'd be very easy to start one. I feel like it'd be easy to start one. I would just have to like scrub my online presence and start Can really you, it, being look, braggadocious. You know how there's such thing as an anti-hero? JTS677 oh, yeah. subscribe. Appreciate that. <laughs> what are they saying in there? Oh, Anonymous Gifter gifted that. Oh, nice. But welcome to everything. Y'all seen the Dave Chappelle? Yeah, I saw the Dave Chappelle yeah, I monologue. I, I watched monologue. it. I did see the monologue. I saw the terrible <laughs> Game of Thrones sketch. You know? uh, yeah, I, I saw clips like, I of it. We're not talking it. about it. But yeah, <laughs> it's not worth it. You can be the best shoe giver in Texas, dude. Ricardo, look at <laughs> so, um, best cobbler. Well, let's just put it this way I may have fallen on some unfortunate times to the point where I will probably have to raffle off one of my shoes in December. We might yeah. do a special event, that'll be fun. Um, because uh, go yeah, the boogie route and times, start an OnlyFans. I am not starting an OnlyFans, <laughs> you could start an OnlyFans. Hey man, people go crazy with feet. Yeah. I, that's what I said Crazy in my feet, brain. Right. That would be the only one I do because I have size seventeens. Get one True. of those. Someone will like them, hey, right? Man. Get, go crazy for get a filter that you know changes your face to like a girl. I, I, I saw that dude that did that. And the motorcycle legs. Dude. Yeah, there was a dude. Tommy, did you hear about that? What? There was a dude in Asia. I forget which part that was pretending to be a hot woman motorcycle enthusiast on that's Instagram. Very specific, and he. Put on a bunch of filters to make him look more feminine, mm-hmm. but then like he had a digital filter on and like it glitched out and show <laughs> and so it was an elderly man, like oh, wow. fifty year old man, and they were like, "What? This woman filters. has been a dude the whole time? That's awesome!" And then they kept watching him. <laughs> oh, you gotta respect that. Yeah, it's like, like he was so well renowned. Is he man? And it's it's, it's a twofer because it's a, like a lesson in like filters are a problem, right? Oh, yeah. Right. Filters are a problem, but this guy utilized it and good for him. Yeah, here he goes. Yeah. Japanese Speak biker yourself, tricks. people. Internet. <laughs> so so, so, so those are the two. Like, Shit. So that's him yeah. regular, and that that's was what? the filter. Wow. Uh, that's a hell of a filter. That's right. Yeah, I was going to say, that is <laughs> a filter. Technology <laughs> has really just Jeez. above yeah. and beyond, So, man. yeah, this is not a real. Welcome this, to the future. Right. So this is not a real per. This is a real person, but this is, and it's not like a transgender <laughs> thing. He's just a man. Putting on a filter where it makes them that's look. Got, this has got some AI oh. technology in it. Right? Oh, I think this is just fa- uh, what do they call it, Facetune. 
Oh, really? like the face swap. Oh no, no, not, like not even face swap. It's it's called face tune. Now this is the one yeah. thing I looked Jeez, into it one I've time. Seen face tune, yeah, I've heard of it. Well, so you hear about it, no, but it's fucked up, guys. Real quick, uh, we'll, we'll sidebar to, before we go to e, to Elon. Uh, and by the way, Slayer hey. 96 subscribe. Thanks nice. for doing that. Oh, that was a uh, porno Chris that donated. Oh, that. nice. Appreciate that. What the fuck? I'm now now more worried who I jerk off to. Jerk off to everything and everyone. Oh, it's fine. As long as it's you get off, fine. that's all that right. matters. Yeah. Right. Hey, man. So have fun. Gay, <laughs> straight, it's all the same nowadays. Yeah, exactly. There's no lines anymore. Right. Yeah. It's a spectrum, all right? Yeah. Nobody's hard line straight. Those yeah, are weirdos. There's no, there's yeah. no black and white in anything. Right. Like, even me, I'm like, here-ish. Like, here's the end. I'm the like, here-ish. Because, like, here is like, bye. You, look, no one likes to do research like me. Look up Ken, the Kinsey scale. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. You know, yeah, 2022 is very relevant. Yeah, so, yeah look there, it up. there's been stories like there was a study they did in a college where the more homophobic you were, they actually put like uh, um, measurement things like Always trackers. My theory, yeah, on yeah. on their genitals and made dudes watch gay porn. And they're like, I'm not gay. Fuck gay people. This is stupid. Erection. And they watched it. Yeah, they were the more likely to get yeah, more erections. Yeah, I've been saying that forever because they would be the only ones that would put forth that much anger towards a group of people. Right. It's all self-hate, man. It's, it's like, all I mean, straight up self-hate. We're talking we'll, about. We'll, we'll probably get into it later, but yeah. I mean, it's just like color. Great subject. Yeah, yeah, it's it's like, like, shit. Right. Yeah. Uh, but I was talking about Facetune. And Facetune, so... I think I tried it or a version of it right. or the, or maybe a photo filter thing I had, um, had some of the Facetune features as options. Mm -hmm. That motherfucker, like, you look like Pedro had, Pascal. I could have, <laughs> I could have. So no, but no, actually no, Pedro Pascal's a little bit darker than me. They okay. didn't have a darkening filter. Of course they had a not. lightning filter. Well, so the first, yeah, you're, oh, I know, okay. me and yeah. you will talk about that all day. Yeah. But so, so what I was able to do is I could lighten my skin like that. Oh, cool. And he bled, and by the way, these are sliders. So these aren't even things like I'm dragging and dropping anymore. Real white. These are just Nordic. sliders. Yeah. <laughs> okay, yeah. I was able to make my nose button thin, button uh -huh. small. That's awful in its own right. Right. My cheeks. Gone. Shoot, they're gone. I have chubby Tom cheeks. Tom Brady style. I could, yeah. Like some can <laughs> divorce it's dad. Man. It's just yeah. a character creator. Essentially, but with but you're the base model. <laughs> yeah. You're the default. You're the default. <laughs> right. Chin went like from this to like I can make it like a pointed chin. I could give myself yeah, longer lashes. Give the, the, the indention. Yeah, I could if the they could chin. see it. Yeah. yeah, the butt chin. Man, I don't give a shit. The what cleft. Like. <laughs> yeah, I know it's like called cleft, and I'm like, yeah. Nah, it's it's hey, 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 train hey, 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 Come on, right, right the train. Boom, boom. <laughs> you know, it means people are giving us lots of money in sequence, oh, and I appreciate yeah. that. We have a lot of viewers today as well. Sounds better than the NBA 2K's face scan. The NBA 2K oh, face scan doesn't that, work because I have a beard. Wild. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, it doesn't work for they're me. Like, they're like, can't see your face. It you cuts me chin. off right here, so it's just lip and nothing. <laughs> oh my God! Dominic ah, Bachi's donating hype. I don't know why there's snakes. Um, no, but we have not talked about Wakanda forever. <laughs> we're uh, getting Jeff Gann, that's the second half of the episode. Right now, we, we were talking about Ash Ketchum and Facetune, um, but we're going to talk about uh, Elon Musk destroying my job. Speaking of cults, uh, speaking of cults, <laughs> yes, dude, yes. Yeah. Speaking of frauds on the internet, <laughs> the ultimate, the ultimate. The ultimate. Yeah. Elon Musk, folks. How did he fuck up? Oh, Elon what? Musk? Yeah. No, I know how he fucked up. Yeah. You personally, how did he? Oh, like to oh to me. Yeah. So I work in communications. I work primarily in social media. <laughs> oh. And part of my One job less platform. Part of my Gosh. job is to yeah. make sure that messages get out to as many people as possible. So my job has uh, um, created a following of people, and I've helped grow that uh, group of people. And when it came time, I work in politics, and so when it came time for posting and for putting things up, so people get our messages last minute. Go out and vote. Go do your thing, Texas. You guys got to go do it. <laughs> it was like 200 people reach. It's like, we have 100,000 people following us. How is 200 people being reached right now? And that was like on Facebook. We know Facebook's going in the shitter anyway. Right. Facebook laid off 11,000 people. Who's on Jesus. Facebook anymore. Say that again? Well, I don't know anyone who's on Facebook anymore. I'm on Messenger. Yeah, I, I use Messenger. That's it. Yeah. That's uh, what every, but Instagram, and, that's what links you with that. Yeah, yeah. yeah that's, that's the true. last piece yeah, of Facebook probably. that most people are on because mm -hmm. the actual Facebook, is it even Facebook anymore or did they go straight meta? No, it's, no, Facebook. it's Facebook. It's but Facebook, but there's like Facebook. the meta family. And that so no like one's it's wants Instagram, to do that Messenger, shit. Facebook, and then WhatsApp. I yeah, WhatsApp. Yeah. There you go. WhatsApp is great though. Like you got to use that if, like, especially internet, international. Yeah, international. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So like, super Mexicanos and like, 
Puerto Ricanos I know are like fucking Chinese what's too. That? No yeah, shit. Yeah, yeah. Okay. yeah. Like because pretty like, much like <laughs> any other country except yeah, the United yeah. States. Yeah. yeah, right. Don't have it. What's up? Yeah. And, and so, yeah, so like uh, yeah, because I would sell. I used to sell cell phones back in the day. And we would get people, because um, I was in Santa Barbara, so they'd have people on like, vacation. Right. Like, and so they'd make ports, they could mm-hmm. fill up stock, or whatever. So you'd get a bunch of people who are on vacation from China coming to buy iPhones and whatever, and they'd try to buy like a stack of them. And the first question, have WhatsApp? Do they have WhatsApp? Do they have WhatsApp? I'm like, I've never used that, but I'm sure they do. If it's on the yeah. App Store, it's there. It's there. And it's then popular. they would buy three iPhones cash. <laughs> three iPhones in cash? Because they were cheaper. Drug dealers? No. They were cheaper in the oh. United States. Uh, than they were in China because okay. China has a bunch of taxes and levies gotcha. on cell phones. Yeah. That was so, no disrespect. No, 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 no. <laughs> oh no! Okay. <laughs> Buying any phone cash. Buying anything is spooky. cash is weird. <laughs> it's, it's very like, weird. Once you get over a hundred bucks, it's real sus, man. Yeah, yeah. If you're over a hundred bucks cash. It's kind of like motherfucker just pulls out a roll. You're like, yeah. oh, I don't like oh, this yeah, scenario bro. at yeah, all. Either yeah. you're a rapper or in crime. You can be, th- <laughs> you can be throwing a garage or a sale stripper, bro. or mother- stripper. Yeah, no, you could be. No, it. strippers got money counters they now. They that. buy. That was like twenty five oh, bucks on that's Amazon. Right. That what was now. Yes, yeah, that's a uh, uh, post COVID or d- like after COVID hit. What they had like so for one, it, it started especially I think in Houston drive through strip oh, yeah. clubs. I saw yes. the drive through thing. And then um, there were like they would have the girls cash app, and you were like oh. demanded <laughs> to like. <do> so <laughs> if, you did, if you had no service, you were fucked. <laughs> Kind of, yeah. kind of, but there was like I think an entrance like cash app fee to, per like girl dancing. So like, like if you, you wanted to, to go and watch this one or something, it, no, it's, yeah. it, it makes it more transactional than it already ex- is. <laughs> I was gonna say I also don't know this by experience. I'm just like it's like yeah, word of mouth and yeah, yeah, not at all. Shit, that <laughs> yeah, they didn't, they didn't charge me twenty dollars at the door, fucking <laughs> assholes. <laughs> they didn't do that. <laughs> oh, I don't know if I like. They didn't that. double charge my Venmo. I'm not even a strip club guy, but I don't like dog. I've only been to a strip club. Twice and then it was like four times within yeah, my two days life. for a bachelor party in yeah. Vegas, and I was like, you know what, you're in Vegas, why the fuck not? Went in Rome, and then the both times I just ended up watching football the first <laughs> night, and then um, <laughs> a buddy of mine and I just ended up hel- holding hands so we could just like deter. <laughs> we watching the UFC fight the, the yeah. second night and. My wife's fully aware. You know so. what? I'm going to say, yes, wife who's watching yeah, right yeah, now. Yeah, yeah. Who he loves dearly like, very bro, much. I, I was like, I I'm not about this. I was like, that's the thing. This. Like, I think women especially should know. I think strippers should know this if they don't already know it. Oh, yeah, the bro. Guy, the guys who you probably would want to be your clientele don't give a fuck about strip yeah. clubs. Right. Like, we don't care. Right. Like, Absolutely. You get, do you get your money? We root for you, but it's been a while since I've even been. Guys who would probably never, you know, just be super respectful and be like, okay, yeah, time's up, I think. Right. Yeah, <laughs> yes. <laughs> Those guys ain't, you know, we're not coming to the strip club. Right. Yeah. But welcome everybody to the Manscaped Dad. Oh my God, let me center myself. Did you know it's the holiday season? It's a Thanksgiving time, and I'm thankful for all of you, but you know what I'm more thankful for? The fine folks at Manscaped. They've given us sponsorship for yet another month after month after month, and the thing about the sponsorship in Manscaped is that they've been letting us use all of their fine products, and I've been using the Lawnmower 4.0. I've been using the Weed Whacker. I've been using the various creams and lotions, and here's the thing, folks. I love Manscaped, and I do use it on a weekly basis. I don't have to keep everything so clean all the time, but this holiday season, you might want to give the gift of Manscaped to the people around you, the people you love the most, the people you care about, because I care about you all. And you care about the people in your life. You might even care about us. Might even give dust Manscaped. Don't do that. Because we get the gift of Manscaped. And we're going to give some more to you very soon. But if you want to give that gift of Manscaped to the people this holiday season, it's Thanksgiving. Do you want their stuffing to look all jacked up? No. You want their stuffing to be nice and trim and proper. You want their taints to be hydrated. You want their legs unchafed. You want their nails clean. There's a nail kit. And you can get everything and anything off of Manscaped.com by using coupon code MEX20 for 20% off. That's M-E-X-2-0 for 20% off and free shipping. Free shipping with every order using that coupon code MEX20. It's Thanksgiving, folks. Be thankful for the many products that Manscaped has given us. Oh, my God. We got interrupted with a donation from Tiberius Monk. I'm going to have to cut that out of the promo. Let me go ahead and just jump real quick a hard cut. 
So look at the website, folks. Look at all the products that they have. The Platinum Package 4.0 is the ultimate luxury package. It's $149 on sale right now as of this recording, and you can get 20% off of that as well. So if you want the Lawnmower 4.0, the Weed Whacker, the 2-in-1 Shampoo, the Body Wash, Deodorant, Cropper, Reverber, Reviver, Magic Mat, the Shed Travel Bag, which I'm going to be using a lot this holiday season, and they have a host of new products as well. They have... If you want to look here, the Boxers 2.0, they have the refined colognes. I need to get my hands on some of those colognes because TJ has been telling you about the scents, and the scents are wonderful. They also got the crop mop, the body spray, the foot duster, and this is the one I was looking for, not the replacement blades, which they do have, the shears. Now, I'm going to get the crop shaver and the body buffer in this next batch of gifts they're giving us, so I'll let you know how that is as soon as I get it. But I bought myself a pair of the Shears 2.0, and if you want a good stocking stuffer, I know I'm talking Christmas a little early, this is the perfect stocking stuffer. I use this every day. I'm weird with my nails. I like them short. I like them tr uh, cl trim, trimmed and clean and proper, and this has all the tools to do it. I never lose it, and I'll never lose your trust <laughs> if you use Manscaped and You'll never lose my trust if you use Mex20 for 20% off and free shipping. Thanks for listening. Thanks for watching. We'll be back to the show in just a few short moments, but not without you going to Mex, manscaped.com, and using coupon code Mex20. That's M-E-X-2-0. Use it, and we'll see you next time on the next Manscaped, Dad. Thank you. Speaking of drug dealers, right. real quick, or, or like at least, at least creepy transactions, I tell the story about like how... Paying in cash is like the shady shit you can do when it comes to cell phones. Yeah. So like I'm working at Best Buy and I'm sitting at the, the booth or whatever and someone comes up and there you have these little prepackaged like uh, plastic clamshell uh, flip phones, right? And what those, year is this? This is 2013, 14? Oh, that's too late. For yeah. That. Oh, yeah. yeah. But but no. But like, there there's people who are low income that use them, the smartphone versions anyway. Right. And then there's legit drug dealers, and right. the legit drug dealer that came in one time prior, <laughs> dude. It was it was uh, what was the one uh, movie with all the green lighting um, with um, Woody Harrelson? Uh, it's a real it's a it's a um, crime movie with a two couple. It's not Bonnie and Clyde. It's the other one in the 90s. Oh, uh, Natural Born Natural Killers. Killers. Yeah. It was legit. The characters from Natural Born Killers. Oh, my they, God. <laughs> they, came, they came in. Like Mickey loose, and Mallory? No. Loose shirts, holes in them, shorts, whatever. Oh, shit. Man, we got pulled over by the cops. And they took two thousand dollars cash from us. They said it was for drugs. We didn't even have any drugs on them ourselves. They we just took all our cash. Phones, so we need know. to get. <laughs> That's exactly what happened. Oh no! They go, yeah, they had like a hundred dollars in cash, and they're like, "Here for the phones. I need to get more phones." But that's not who I'm talking about. It was another guy. Yeah, it's an older gentleman. Must have been six. Uh, at least now my brain's adjusting. 70, 69, 68 years old, graying, okay. walks slow. And he walks up with the thing and he holds it in his hand and he goes, can I pay for this in cash? And I was like, why'd you say it like that? Yeah, you can say you can buy it in cash. Like Billy D. Williams? Yeah, no, uh, white guy. Kind of like. talks like but Billy, talk Billy D. Like Billy Williams. Williams. Okay. <laughs> so, <laughs> where can I find my closest Coke 45? No. Um, and he goes, um, I need to be really discreet with this. <laughs> he says that to me. And I'm like, oh, no. okay. He goes, oh, do you need anything like my ID or my phone number or anything like that. And I was like, okay, why? I didn't say why you asked me all those questions. I go, I might need your ID, but I could take cash. That's fine. Because okay. you need your ID to match up with certain things. But okay. you can get around it. It's not a huge deal. I would let him get around They're it. prepaid phones. He wasn't being intimidating. He's being shifted. But that's what makes him more scared. So he buys the phone. It's $20. He buys the prepaid cards, five bucks, whatever. Okay. And I'm doing the transaction. I'm putting in everything to get everything started. And he goes, yeah, um... I need to be discreet because um, a former friend of mine, a lady, has recently come back into my life, and I don't want my wife to know about <laughs> it. And I'm like, am I helping a romance novel happen right now, or just pure oh, adultery? No, just an, adulter just an adulterous just old man. An adulter, yeah. Damn. That like, gives way too much information. Yeah, he was like trying to be low key to but the he's local like, clerk of the Best Buy. Right. <laughs>
Jesus fuck, man. <laughs> no, because he was He's like, bad at this affair shit. You're right. Already he's <laughs> no, starting no, off no, real bad. Because he was like, and he even was trying to play it off. He's like, I'm not trying to do anything funny. <laughs> yeah, you are. I just, <laughs> he was like, I just don't think my world. wife would like to know Sir, that. Sir, I don't think you understand how hilarious this is. <laughs> <scenario. laughs> yeah. I'm like, here, I'm just not like. trying to do anything funny. In a few Sir, years, you're going to be a part of a podcast. <laughs> and I'm going to tell my story. In a few years, I'm going to tell the story. On a podcast yeah. and make lucrative amounts of money <laughs> off the fact that he was just like, yeah, I would like my life to know about that. She would start to worry about I'm things, sure. and I don't I'm want sure her to she would worry. be very concerned about your affair with another woman. <laughs> well, no, because I guess he had never. Jeez. Yeah, like he got a he had a whole. How separate, old was this man? Like I said, 68, 69. Oh, this was so. Wait, this was the did, first time adult. Did he say like lady friend or did he just say friend? He said lady friend. Okay. He made oh, sure yeah. that it was a woman. <laughs> He's sixty five plus. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Sure. yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Once Tommy, use that term. Tommy, you don't have a, a young nephew's like, yeah, me and my lady friend, no. we're going out to Dave and Buster's. No one does. That. No I was does. trying to give the old times. man the benefit of the doubt. I was like, maybe he's just like a raging alcoholic and Frank the Tank's in town. No, <laughs> oh, no, no, no. no. Take right yeah, now. Go for it. Real <laughs> controversial. Wait, hold on, hold on. I've heard your non-controversial takes, so let's hear your controversial <laughs> takes. <laughs> The non-controversial ones aren't controversial either. You literally said that <laughs> fourth base in the sex Olympics is an orgy that's versus a, just that's sex. That's home base, and yes, uh, orgy is. And I didn't say that was normal. Oh, I heard this. I watched <laughs> this episode, and I just like tuned out. I was like, all right, you know what? I'm it's too many bases. This man's married. Yeah, yeah. This, is, this is 2022. This ain't our time, He's not man. playing ball anymore. This ain't our time. I know where uh, you at. Oh, yeah, that's man. where I used to be. I'm just updating them, and they're giving me shit for it. Like, this is what it is now. He took his ball and went home. He's already done. Yeah. He's play. But no, but what's your controversial take? Oh, get, oh I forgot it now. Oh, God. <laughs> yeah, forgot. you made me forget the About comedy. adultering? Oh, old yeah. Men? Got it back. Oh. Okay. <laughs> old, oh, if you're that old, if you're 65 plus and you, this is the, prere the prerequisite for this, okay? Uh huh. If you are oh, uh, 65 and above and uh, been married for 45 plus. Uh huh. I'll say 50, so I'm not a bad guy. Okay. 50 years? 50 years married. If you're 50 years... My parents are 45 and mine, they're elderly. Yeah, mine before my dad uh, kicked the bucket was 44. So, yeah. If you've passed... I say 50. That's what I say, because I don't want to... So you do would, 50 and then you can cheat forever? Not... Yeah. Both sides. It's like a... <laughs> it's like a clause in a contract. It's like, yeah, we hit 50... You get those reward packages. Tommy, that is insanity. <laughs> that would keep a marriage together. People are Let getting these married. people have a second win, man. Like, damn. They've been, well, they did everything right. That's what old homes are, aren't they? Uh, straight orgies. Oh, oh yeah. yes. Wait, 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 why do you know that so well? <laughs> he was like, oh, God, yeah, no. Sure. Uh, I only that's know their this. second wind right there. <laughs> no, I, some don't make it there. Because their kids want to take care of them. And that's, <laughs> like, shit. Strangely enough, that's the name of the old folks' home, second wind. Second wind. <laughs> uh, I only here, know here, this because um, a family home that we have down in South Texas um Right behind it, there is a nudist ranch, and it's all elderly, <laughs> what we call winter Texans. Um, I think I want to go, go to this old home. <laughs> when I them, and it's, man. And it's, they're just like, it's like a fucking 25 foot uh, fence, and then. That, <laughs> needs to be a little higher, but good for them. <laughs> It's See, high that's, enough. That's it's, what I'm saying. But look, but, those people are going to live a few years longer. Just me and my buddy Frank are both going to live in that old folks home and be like, hey, Frank, you want to go on the roof and just ogle? <laughs> <laughs> Why, yes, Jay, well, yeah, I do. <laughs> at 36, I know this already. Life gets boring as fuck, man. It gets real standard. And so, yeah, I know if I'm fucking that age, I want to do some crazy off the wall shit just to keep the blood flowing, man. So yeah, let me cheat on my wife. Let me go to an orgy at 65. Why the fuck can I? Who are you to judge me? I'm not judging you. Yeah, that look looks like judgment. I'm wondering what, if your girlfriend's gonna judge you. Or no, she'll be you're, right or, there with Or me. as you say, your lady I'm friend. I'm with the, I don't <laughs> think that. She's younger than me, so yeah. By a year, she's younger than me. So no, not, she ain't lady friend yet. But yeah, no, she's being on the same page. She's gal pal. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's not 1952. What, what other, so other old-timey relationship I names? I think it's it just girlfriend and lady friend. Gal pal. Um, my, my best gal. There you go. 
old lady, old lady, old lady. Old lady. That's, that's the one. Yeah, yeah, yeah I'm not married one. though. So uh, he's not married. It's only no. for marriage. Exactly. But yeah, no. Hey, you're my number one gal. See, <laughs> when you're 65, you either go to the local shit. nursing home and to the to the orgy because they have them. <laughs> My sister worked in a nursing home, and she was like gonorrhea galore. Oh fuck! I was about to say, man, yeah, yeah. like the Chlamydia. highest rates of like um, STDs are amongst like a specific age group, and it's all elderly, and it's all yeah. within like um, yeah. elderly yeah. homes. Yeah, <laughs> gonorrhea galore it, sounds like a terrible Bond villain. <laughs> yeah. and look, I don't want to get into the gray areas of it, but a lot of these women there are gay. A lot of gray when you get that. Yeah, it's a lot of gray. <laughs> the old senile and all that good shit. Oh but, like, no! Yeah, oh. sometimes it gets gray. Oh, it's but, dark. Oh, it's no, no, no. Now we're going back to light. Uh-huh. A lot of consensual, though. It is a lot of yeah, consensual. Yeah. Most, man. it should be all actually. Well, not even old, most. That's what I'm saying. It's the old people that faculty. They're from a different them. time. <laughs> oh. I didn't want to say it. That's the way they think. Sadly, well, but we'll be old eventually, and consent will be a thing even in nursing homes. But like, <laughs> it will be. <laughs> this is this this episode is just full of quotes. <laughs> <laughs> it's not. I mean, it's, after it's, fifty it's, years, it's you crazy. cheat on your wife, and <laughs> I hope there's consent in nursing homes. That's the that's the gray area. But those that aren't in nursing homes, <laughs> that intended. shit is real. Yeah. <laughs> By the way, Lil Hawkins, I'm so confused how sketchy phones led to this conversation. <laughs> Welcome to kicking it with the Cobas, baby. This is what you're missing well, on Thursdays if you don't come. If, oh, if you're only here for sports, this is what you miss out on. <laughs> oh, that's the ultimate sport, baby. <laughs> no, no, it's not. Try not to catch gonorrhea. But, but no, like uh, the assisted living, that's where it's at. Like that's yeah. where, you know, it's both consent, like we're very cognizant of what's going on. Yeah, and you and come we to want my place. It. Yeah, and it's a, lot of, it's a lot of that. A lot of Barry White being played. <laughs> they're old school about it, but they're yeah. getting what they want, and they're living, they're living their best life now, yeah. when they only have like three years left. Swinging Fuck 60s it. take on a different meaning. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Thanks, Joe Jira, no for subscribing. Shit. Currently 12, does that say 12 months? That is a year streak, Joe Jira. Everyone what? around applause. Joe Jira's been here a year. Welcome, everybody, to the show. Very nice. Subscribe now so you can be a year from now with Joe Jira. Yeah. Um, we'll make it worth it. We'll make it. Yeah, oh, yeah. Start we try to make home it talk. It. Exactly. Yeah. Uh, we were going to talk about Elon Musk. I don't even want to talk about that no more. <laughs> That's what this show is, what, man. JJ? I hate that you plan things because it just goes off the fucking Well, I have rest. to have something just in case. Just to tell people just like this. Well, yeah. even Eliano here, he's, he's bringing spark, it in. You know, it's nice. Just a spark. Yeah, he, yeah, he knows this show because he watches it, so. Oh, okay. Well, yeah. That's yeah. why he oh, fits yeah, in. He fit in well. Yeah. He's a pata in the chat, if you never put that together. Okay. Yeah, he's always in there. Nice. But I had one more thing about... The old folks home. Oh, yeah. What's going to be our love making music when we're elderly? Is it going to be Usher? It would have to be Usher, it's, right? Yeah. It's got to be Usher. What's it called? What, what's be, the fucking Usher Lil John Lil Chris? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Peace Up A Town <laughs> Down. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Lil John. Uh, oh, man, we are fucked, actually. Why? Bro, Lil John. Yin Yang Twins. That'll probably be our shit. <laughs> oh, Whisper? <laughs> Whisper, Whisper Stone. Whisper Stone. Yeah. I'm going to hear a song. Oh, shit. Whisper in here. Grandma, turn oh, it off. I remember. <laughs> I forgot the name of it. It was the bed squeaking. Oh, Girl, what it is. What so, it is, ho. What's so? What's up? What's up? <laughs> Can a nigga get in them guts? <laughs> them guts. That was our shit. Yeah. Right. So that's what we'll be playing in our nursing home. Because I, I always wonder if, if songs, <laughs> that right if, if songs when we were when we, we get older, oh, I worry if songs get bad. too raunchy. Yeah. And then I remember that that was the song we listened to first week of college for whatever reason. <laughs> they blurred that through the whole thing. And it's in and, your head and, forever. And it's in my head forever. Yeah. And we're talking about getting not in not in bed with them, in their guts. Oh, yeah. Man. That was, a, that is that was in the song. explicit. It was super explicit back I mean, the thing. age was a song. I, you know, I was say, hey, little mama, let me whisper in your May, I might want to show you something you might like to hear, wait till you see and then my dick. wait do you see that's that was the, the hook of the song. That is predatory. Wait do you see my dick? Wait yeah. do you see my dick? Wait do you see my dick? I'm gonna beat that pussy up. I love those how, are the lyrics. Those are the lyrics of the and song. The end. The end. <laughs> that's that's that was played was. in clubs. I also yeah. think it's hilarious how like and school like, dances. <laughs> yeah. What? Yeah. Yes. It was oh, yeah. played on a grain to school dance. The whisper Middle song. Whisper song. Yeah. I was in middle school when that song came out. Kind of fucking middle Texas shit. Could come to the dances. Yeah, so. Gotcha, bro. Yeah. That's fucking gotcha. Yeah. <laughs> it's very true. Yeah, Texas, they, they didn't give a oh, fuck no, in man. my school, yeah. Yeah, the worst song we had was Grease Lightning, played during 50s week. <laughs> really? You know that ain't no shit when you're getting lots of tit and Grease Lightning. That's a lyric oh. in that song. Did they cut it? Yeah, and it's a real pussy wagon. No, they did really? not cut it. <laughs> 
it was like our teachers, they was like, oh, it's nighttime. I'm definitely off work. I'm just here. <laughs> oh, yeah. No, yeah. We had some teachers. It was some like, bad shit going on at those dances, man. Hey, man, Texas public school, bro. No shit. Yeah, like, <laughs> Shout out. Bro, no, pretty sure. taught us well, everything. My we math know. teacher was always drunk by my period. Like, by the time oh. I got there. <laughs> he was really sick, dude. He had a lot of NyQuil in his room, okay? Well, <laughs> there was one time when me and my friend were, we were, like, in the GT program, the advanced placement program. Yeah, yeah, This yeah. was in elementary. And we <laughs> had to do, like, a... I, I just need to stay quiet. I'm like, coming from an edu- I, I was a high school teacher, so coming from an educated background, dog, I know all the shit. I just, <laughs> for now, for now. Like, I'll just tell you your suspicions. Oh, oh no, this one right. I knew. Like this was before I knew what a hangover was. <laughs> but me and my friend had like this GT project, and we needed to get like teacher signatures for it. Uh-huh. I forget what the hell it was. But we <laughs> had to go to, like, different classrooms and just unannounced. We just, like, walked in. Like, we owned the fucking place. Like, hey, could you please sign this? A lot of teachers were cool with it. They were. Deci- we went to this one teacher. <laughs> and we noticed, huh, the lights are off. But it's not, like, Friday. So they wouldn't be watching a movie right now. Uh-huh. <laughs> and then we go in. And, yeah, they're watching a movie. They're watching, like, Star Wars. Like They're watching a decent movie. <laughs> <Right>? <laughs> Not but like not educational, educationally program. relevant at all. Yeah. They're not watching Roots. They're not watching Bill Nye the Science Guy. Yeah. And then we can't see the teacher anywhere. And then one of the students is like, are you looking for the sir? Yeah. Oh, he's back there. And he's on his desk. Just- <laughs> God, right. God, oh, my God. So we walk up to him and we're like, uh, what do you want? Could you sign? Yeah, sure. You're beautiful. Go. You're beautiful? <laughs> Dude, you. nice. You're my best friend. I'll do anything, anything for you outside this paper. Oh, no, that was my scientist, my science teacher, Mr. Shumper. Mr. Shumper. That man, he drank every. He hated his fucking life, and he wanted you to know it. Like he would never smile, just was, never looked you in the eye, because you, not because like nervousness, because you weren't that important to him. Right. It was just like I can't wait to get the fuck out of here. And it was a fight one time that he had to break up, and he jumped at the chance. <laughs> Threw a kid against the, like, so I don't know if she y'all had these same type, the doors of the school where it was like that double-plated glass. Yeah. yeah. He threw a kid against that and it cracked. Oh, Because he was separating them, so he was like, no, I was throwing him out that way to separate the two. And like, he, no, like, he fucking got him by the neck and like, yeah! Well, and he was in the best mood after glass. that shit. He's like... Uh, principal might not like it, but hey, man, we had you know can't have that. <laughs> do we had to do? I was like, oh my god, your eyes open? <laughs> Fuck. Eighteen years of just fucking. Ed like, has a similar pent-up. story. Yeah, yeah. who has fucking a similar story? Ed. Ed, what happened? Yeah. <laughs> so uh, his brother was a substitute teacher for a while, or no, not his brother, one of his brother's friends. And uh, when that dude was in high school, he mm-hmm. was like, he wasn't a football player, he wasn't an athlete, but he always worked out with them, so he's always mm-hmm. big, right? And uh, that dude was a substitute, and they put him in, like, the in-school suspension program. Right, right. And uh, one of the officers, right, like, the school officers that worked there mm-hmm. came up and was like, hey, uh, got word that there was going to be a fight, like, between these two gangs. <laughs> I mean, they're high yeah, school gangs. Yeah, high school gangs. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, we we might need some help Would if we de- – and he's like, well – Okay, but I'm I'm a teacher. I can't touch them. I'll be back. And he comes back. Like, <laughs> he comes back like five minutes later. He's like, "Here, sign this." What does it do? It deputizes you for a day. Oh my god! <laughs> so, yes. so, if a, so if a fight breaks out, you can you can you can throw it. You are deputized. <laughs> what yeah. is this, the Wild West? Basically, <laughs> like before that rule went into play, that's when the shit jump did his thing. Bro, no. like, no, they used to, like, when they could get involved, that was open season. <laughs> that was like, the I, I could have sworn day, I saw, like, like, all right, who's my bitch? <laughs> oh my <God. laughs> it's like, he's picking out the kid that he wants to fight. He's like, 
<laughs> that one looks like a scrapper. I'll Charlie take him. <laughs> He's the Rakeem. Hey, yo. Yeah, like, uh, <laughs> yeah, man, it was a different, Texas school's a different breed. I didn't realize how much till I talked to people in different states. Oh, yeah. Oh, about yeah. their high school experience. Yeah, it was no, nothing Texas like that. <laughs> that's the fucking reason why Texas is like 48th. Yo, yeah. <laughs> They're in, fighting their in, fucking in, kids. Dude, yeah, it's in, the Hunger Games in that bitch. No, At least like, in our time, it Joe was. Jira, I smell a buddy cop movie, bro. <laughs> 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 you deputized to beat up a child. Pick one. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking 21 jump street. No <laughs> shit. Also, yeah. just for the youth out there, and this is a piece of advice that my dad taught me. Yeah. There's no gangs in school, for the no, record. Just oh. because, no, man. no, just no, because people be like, I'm in a gang, I'm in a gang. My dad is like, the, he told me they once. They don't go to school. Yeah, the, yeah, yeah exactly. Don't the gang members don't go to school. They don't give a fuck about education. Right. They're banging. They're <laughs> they're selling they're drugs, selling, selling drugs. dope, and yeah, doing the thing. Because guess what? Drug addicts don't go to school. Mm-hmm. So if you're selling drugs, well, they, yeah, that's what I'm saying. You they, need to be where they're at, which is not at work. From nine o'clock till six, <laughs> preferably later, right? But they got shifts, so yeah, right. you want that. Teenagers usually had that shift. The ones that were not in school because they were hustling, exactly, doing the dope game. Well, you know, high school. Well, we're at, well, we're at a good. Almost at a good you point. You need to tell us some California school, story. Yeah, yeah California? no shit. Yeah. Middle school oh. same as high school. Shit. Dude, I missed. It was a dude who literally got choked out in the middle of the hallway, and teachers watched. Oh, bro. no, I. <laughs> they could have like, stopped it. They just didn't give a fuck. Nah, like, man, they don't I, like, care. We, here. we had cokeheads in middle school. Like, Jeez. Like, like, started getting developing them little. Holes it was real in popular in Lagrange. Wow. Yeah. yeah. Oh, fuck, like they didn't have weed, but they had coke galore. Yeah. For, yeah. In I my don't school. know how. Yeah. In my school, off camera, I'll ask you, but I got folks from Lagrange. So really, everyone not fan. Family, but like just people, you know, everyone yeah, does. Yeah. Yeah. Tommy, does. Tommy is, is oh, one of the greatest. <laughs> I was gonna say J.K. Dobbins. That's right. J.K. Dobbins. Yeah. yeah. Get the fuck. Yeah. Damn, that's way down the no, line. But no, yeah. no. Hey, yeah, for yeah. You're talking no. to the Lagrange's uh, golden son right here. His mama I mean, knows everybody, therefore just, everyone knows dude, him. Dude, it's three thousand oh, people. I was gonna like, say it's, it's like yeah, it's, like you come everyone from the knows everybody. everybody. Like you yeah. just name either related to him or right. you just know him. Well, yeah, no, man. I knew a dude who got addicted to coke uh, from after, Lagrange. Afterwards, no, from Fresno. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 no. no. And, and so, and, I, and this is, I think this is true. It yeah. makes hundred percent sense. So not only was he doing a bunch of drugs, he wasn't doing any of his homework. Right. But he was a teacher's assistant, and he was a real good suck up. He was just a good suck up. They thought the the teachers thought he was really nice and really cool really excited about school and he would go in and change all of his friends grades in the system like he so he got himself to graduate by just putting by being the teacher's assistant changing all of his grades a couple points so i know like three people who have done that right yeah well that was the one i knew yeah (laughs) but the thing was when you talk about the events that happened the fights i always missed them i remember the the big one like the whole like quad i was on a field trip Oh god! Damn. I was on yeah, I was on you a that one class field trip at the university, and I'm getting okay. uh, I'm getting texts from my flip phone. That's how crazy this fight was. Where apparently, like, so we had the front gates that open at my school. They had a, three cop cars drive through the front to have cops jump out to stop all the people from fighting in this massive brawl in the quad. Was that just one time? We're not a violent school. I didn't go to the violent school. I mean, that was just I was here. Say, that was like, like twice a year. <laughs> yeah, a At the least thing, twice a year. I remember one time uh, White Rock Park was like the nearest park off campus. And so that's where like the fights happened. Hyped up the whole day. We had a Don King. That hype that shit the <laughs> fuck up. Oh, yeah, always got that hype, man. I got that dude. It was it was always one family, but they had the same instigate nature. Mm-hmm. So it was it was on point. Like your grandpa must have been just an asshole. But like no, so, goddamn Johnstone. Yeah, they, that Johnstone they would, family. They would start the fight. They're like, oh, oh shit. Jeremy said you a bitch. <laughs> I bet you, I bet you won't call him a bitch. <laughs> Oh, he called him a bitch. <laughs> what you gonna do about it? Spoiler: yeah. He never called him a bitch. The never first did. Time. Never but did. But they hyped this fight up, and it escalated throughout the day. End of the day, bell rings. You could walk to White Rock from from the high school campus, or you could drive if you wanted to be fly and take the long way. Fast and Furious just came out, <laughs> right. so we all, yeah. we in that mode. Right. So we got, everybody got their cars and headlights on. It's five in the afternoon. Right. <laughs> <laughs> it is not daylight savings time, it's not so it's bright out. You're right. But everyone ha- was in that mode to right. where it's like Fast and the Furious type shit. Okay, Fuck let's it. go. We got money, motherfuckers taking money, the whole nine. So, you got a ring girl? <laughs> oh, we did. Oh, we did. Christ. 
Nice. Yeah. And she was down for it. Like someone wrote five with a, sh- I mean, wrote like round one with a Sharpie. It was a whole production. Yeah. I didn't go to a, a so, fucking Tokyo Drift School. I'm it sorry. It was amazing. Friends so. Unified is <laughs> not that fucking interesting. All right. Oh, wait. Uh, trust me. I'm getting to the, the best part. We had meth problems at our school. Ooh. That's we had Coke problems. Math is harder than Coke. Meth is like a real addiction. Could, uh, Coke is a real Coke, addiction. Coke, I think, oh, is, think about what and what, depending on how you, you know. It, it's like, easier to do Coke than, yeah. than actual meth. Not really. You I, store Coke. You, you have to so inject I meth. Say, yeah, I, I think it's easier to do I've Coke met Coke. someone who was addicted to meth. Jesus. <laughs> Seriously Christ. addicted. Yeah. And they said, I've done the research here. You can't die from meth. Like That's, a meth overdose is tough. It's hard to do. I'm not saying do it for fuck's sake. Don't. <laughs> don't smoke. That's why I hate saying that because you, you're yeah, still, you're still okay on Twitch. They ain't gonna just fucking. Kill. Oh no 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 yeah, <laughs> yeah no shit. <laughs> like I'm like God no damn, shit. We only man. have a couple Holy followers. Good. <laughs> <laughs> we also we also explicitly said don't do math. <laughs> don't do oh, cocaine. Don't do either. Don't one. do weed. Don't do any drugs that well, are easy well, now. Well, don't yeah, do weed. Some legal. are lighter than it's, others. Like. It's, it's, One's uh, legal in many states. I was gonna say, yeah. What, what are they? Uh, it's decriminalized, right? In, if yeah. it's not legal, decriminalized in your are practically state. all and legal in most. If it's that not that's illegal not in your state, Stop is what I'm that. saying. Yeah. Is what I'm just talking about. The bases. Sh- we're talking about vein candies. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> right. so you know, that's... shit you can eject. You know what I mean? Oh, no. Like, <laughs> Holy shit! You can snort it also. Don't. I'm just saying. <laughs> can I get can. green apple candy? <laughs> <laughs> blue candy. That blue, oh, oh God, good shit. But yeah, no. <laughs> I mean, you make it with cough syrup, so I guess you could just find the green apple flavored one. And <laughs> oh my God, Jeez. why don't they make so more flavors drugs, of cough man. syrup? Probably for that reason, I'm, honestly. I, well, I came from Houston. There is some that did. Welcome to Texas. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> 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 some styrofoam so, cups. So if I got some, if I got some cough syrup and I put, you know, those little juice what boosters you put in. Cough syrup. No, but yeah, like, what if you put like, it in there? Codeine, I know. Yeah. But like, what if in the codeine that I got like some Kool Aid that squeeze juice I use for my water bottles? What if I put that in there and mixed it up, made it Ugh. nice and it, sweet? I mean, and then oh, made that into. You drugs. Definitely, definitely gotta do like Sprite. Sprite, and, like, yeah. Uh, I knew a couple of homies. So, who no, you don't. You don't know how to do it. You guys, none well, of us know how to drink back, it. I, I've never done it. I know a lot of people who have. It's not my. Yeah, it was or never. Rapper, it was, to be it fair. never looked tempting to me because they would just they would just lean and do one of these for the majority of the night, and that just I'm like, it's like I'm good on that. I want to enjoy the like night. Times hundred, bro. It's fucking. Yeah, wild. it was used to be Sprite in the Jolly Rancher, yeah. like that. Yeah, that yeah. was a thing. Yeah. Welcome to Texas. I was like, talking about. <laughs> I mean, you guys were talking about scissor. But I was talking about actual heroin. Flavoring. Heron? I wanted Holy to flavor my heroin. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. God damn. I wanted to flavor. Hard, I wanted to Fucking flavor my God, heroin. Man. All right. The black. No. I want to see if I can taste that it. That is the back. real okay, no, bang candy. That's yeah. Gotcha, bro. Good God. No heroin. No heroin. No heroin, man. But that is they're like, how did we get from this? I was gonna say, bro. This is the show, <laughs> man. This is what this has. This is what I, I, I get it. I'm, I'm fully aware. This and show, it's, it's fun. It's this hilarious. show is oh, hey, what shit. You, you, you had two you points I couldn't finish because we moved oh, on yeah, completely. Oh yeah. Subject. Oh yeah. I don't want you to talk about your Tokyo drift fights. That oh, were right, let me finish that. <laughs> yeah, no. Come on, man. The, the thing was, oh. it was no fight because they just danced around and talked oh, shit, and then the cop showed up, and then it was broken up. That was most of our fights. I never fucking mentioned them. That yeah. was most of our fights. Yeah, I've gotten. I feel like I've gotten to like a couple fights in my life. I lost three dollars that day. Oh, <laughs> that you fought. You bet that it would happen or not? I bet who would win, but it didn't happen. So they just stole your money. So, yeah, I was gonna say homeboy who was taking the bets. Just the, like the, the guy who was hyping it up. Yeah, he was man. the one taking the money, and it yeah. got me. Goddamn Johnstone I family fucking got me, man. <laughs> fucking, I don't know. I don't know the family names there. I'm just gonna say Johnstone. It's a cool. <laughs> <sighs> Well, the Haw- the, it's the Hawkins family. It's, oh my God! <laughs> They're shitheads. No, I know. I saw Hawkins. No, it's not you, Hawkins. I know you're not a member of this shitty family. <laughs> yeah, they're terrible. Straight right? name dropping. I'm Holy scared shit. to do a Jamaica trip next year. What's going on in the chat? They're talking about all sorts of things in the chat. Yeah. How do you guys feel about Gears of War going to Netflix instead of HBO as they got beat out for the rights of the live adaptation? I do not care because I, I don't, I don't saw care Halo. about. I don't, <laughs> it was terrible. I never played Gears of War because I didn't have an Same. Xbox. Yeah, me neither. Last I'll of wait Us. Wait the Last of Us. Yeah, that neat. one looks good. Yeah. That's the one I'll check out. I'm going to watch Andor tonight. That's going to be fun. The only person good for you. Uh, shut up. <laughs> it's hey, a man, great show. It's, it's good. It's but a really good show. I, how are you watching Andor? Didn't we have conversations about this on like, like you don't need certain shows because it's like you already know what happens. Yeah, he does that. Oh, yeah. I did do that. 
but um, <laughs> Mexicans. Um, that's it. That's it. I have to. I have to. Here's so the they thing. Keep Look, getting I get it. Toys. <laughs> watch. Look. I'm, Look at I'm my Funko watch. Pops of, of Namor and the Tapatio Man. Respect. I need more. Respect. Uh, Send I'm him sh- your Funko Pops <laughs> of Mexican icon. Exactly. If you have, I haven't collected Funko Pops, but if you have like a fluffy comedian, uh, Gabriel Iglesias, I'm going to uh, start collecting all the Mexican Pops. Yeah. Spider-Man 2099, the new white suit. He's Irish. Okay. He's, <laughs> what the fuck? Oh, Miguel O'Hara. First off, he's Mexican. I he know. speaks Spanish. He just so happens to be half Irish. Also, come on. You got to show... If you're Mexican or native, you got to show love to the Irish. Oh, yeah. We love the Irish. Oh, the Mexicans love the Irish. Do you I don't know, know how that's not more of a thing. Oh, it is. It, it absolutely, is. It's already, it actually really is. Okay. Maybe we talk about it later, but it definitely is next, a thing. The next no. episode. We'll, do, we'll bring that up yeah, in the yeah, next okay. episode. Yeah, we'll, oh, we'll, yeah, we'll, dude. We'll he, well, here's the main reason. It cultures also, that shit well, super well, get along. Well, yeah. well, redheaded Irish. Or redheaded Mexicans, man. Oh, it Manolo, makes sense. Justin Gaethje, who I didn't fucking know was Mexican. So, oh, I didn't know that. The UFC buddy? Yeah. Didn't know he was Mexican. Really? Yes. All I knew was Canelo. Right. Yeah, no, Canelo, Geishi, and then there's like a couple of other actors who are... Yeah. They've been popping up out the Red woodwork Mexican lately. Mexican. Yeah, I was yeah, about to say, what's going on here? Oh, and that's Makes what, sense now. Yeah. We'll yeah, I could, that, that's a click up, man. <laughs> we're, we're figuring it out. We're yeah, incorporate there. them in. Well, yeah, no. Good, <laughs> yeah. Well, the big thing, well, here's the thing. I'll, I'll, I'll give you a clue to the story he's talking about. Catholic, yeah. Mexican-American war. Think about it. Think yeah, about how no. the Irish are treated by the Americans. Yes. No, it, uh, you didn't even have to tell me that already. Mexicans didn't have slaves. They're like, if you're no. in, in slavery times. I know what Santa Ana said. That. Uh, I remember that <laughs> shit. That's you know, why I was like, fuck them. You know who, I'm uh, going to Mexico. You know who, who it was or who the president was that uh, freed the slaves in Mexico, right? No. Vicente Guerrero, who was a half black, half indigenous man. He the knew, first Barack Obama? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no so, shit. He knew Spanish, English, uh, his native African language, and Nahuatl. And, it's like Lapita Nuanga. And then, like, <laughs> yeah, no, for real. Yeah. I like uh, that but, shit. So, yeah, he was half, half African um, and uh, indigenous. And then, um, yeah, I think, like, was raised Catholic. But, yeah, English, Spanish, native African, Nahuatl in the different uh dialects that he needed for the region yeah uh and then he was the one who freed the slaves and he said no person should ever be owned like property no shit yeah. there you go i need to learn some mexican history that shit's legit Bro, we, once i learned that santa we'll was it, against man. slavery we'll i was it. like no yeah why the fuck were you trying to make him the enemy you were stealing his fucking land right. <laughs> what the hell is happening yeah, right the now the alamo's the dumbest piece of shit it's of all the time. worst fucking thing the, uh, so uh, people Piss on it if you have a chance. Look Put it, it on your bucket list to piss on, on the Alamo. I'm not talking about Elon. I've been well, texting. So, I would be okay, okay with so that. Here, uh, that's, I guess we'll get into it. Time that's time a, that's time a time. sensitive thing. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. what, uh, the, Alamo? the Alamo? Oh, we'll talk about it like half a yeah. second. Yeah. Yeah. We're not talking about Elon sensitive. anymore. That's Elon's a fucking idiot. <laughs> He's costing me my job. He's going to crash that shit. Two-factor authentication doesn't fucking work on Twitter anymore. So if you get locked out, you may or may not be able to get in. Uh, well, there it is. That's wired. Okay, enough of the ads, people. Enough with the fucking ads. Is CNN? Elon Musk is a massive has a massive drop in revenue, uh, and he's also firing engineers who yell at him on Twitter. He's a fucking man child. He's a big dumb idiot, and he's gonna ruin Twitter, and it's gonna be really well, bad wasn't for exactly people. Thr- I mean, it wasn't great before. He well, well, the, the, well, the problem is one. The, the most important thing someone brought up that was really important that really kind of made me a little bit nervous uh-huh. was the fact that like. Countries that don't have a lot of ways to communicate to the oh, outside world, like they say, like, the "Hey, NLB, oh. they're chopping off all our heads, send, and they could get to America, Jesus. and so people could listen." They might not have that venue anymore. Oh, That's no. why it's oh, like now spooky. that venue's TikTok, I guess. Oh shit! Yeah, <laughs> we are getting beheaded. We are getting to do a dance. Why is this on my for you? <laughs> <laughs> Oh my God! Skip over to the next like <laughs> also, Instagram model dance. Also, fun fact: Jesus. you can't say race war without getting uh, slightly censored on Twitch. So I, I unlocked that Jesus for you. Jesus Christ! It's a joke. They I make think. it so obvious. Yeah, you put Je- they someone put Jessica Negri the model in, and they censored that, thinking it was the N word. Jesus! Ah. Oh wow! It happens well. sometimes. But yeah, the Alamo's fucking dumb. That's what we're gonna end this this episode Sex. slash section because. What else did you promise we talk about that we did? Oh, we'll talk about Elon. that in the second part. <laughs> oh yeah, we're gonna talk about Black Panther. That's a whole other episode. Okay, Elon but was the only thing. Elon was the only yeah, thing. Elon. Okay, yeah, and we're Elon, the, uh, we covered epitome it. of uh, couch quarterback. Yeah, exactly. he thinks he's, he, could, he's he thinks he knows right. how to except except and, then, the, and, and a good example of that is Jeff Saturday, who is an actual couch quarterback who was actually able oh, to fucking bro. do this. I was gonna say Jeff Saturday. He's a legend. That's not fair. There's your man actually. It's a Hall of Fame coach. 
<laughs> he no, a Hall he's a yeah, writer. Right? No, he's no, he's a Hall of Famer. He's a Hall of Fame no, center. He's a Hall of Famer. He's not in the Hall of Fame yet. Coach. Oh, he's right. He's no, not. he's not. Yeah, he's up this year. I think. Oh, no, he's, he's last in. year he was up. Shit. Second ballot then. Second. They he might. Should, hey, he hey, should be. Hey, if, after if, this, he definitely will. If this shit takes <laughs> off, he might get in as a coach and a center. So fuck it. I feel like he's gonna have a long career as a coach Even in the NFL. I don't. I don't know Tumblr. if you can no get in Tumblr. as a coach or player if you're still coaching slash playing. That's what no, I'm saying. Might, the clock might have yeah. reset for so the coach. I think, yeah, I was going to say, I think it's a reset. Yeah, you're yeah. right. You're Fuck. right. Damn. Dang. Sorry, Jeff Saturday. You can you come if on you're... the sports show. What? Oh, bro. <laughs> yeah. You can as an announcer, as a personality, and as an owner, if I'm not mistaken. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Owners shouldn't be allowed. Like, fuck, fuck them. Here, well, it's here's the thing. Jerry I think to a certain there. period they Jerry should be allowed. Jerry should be. I'm not going to lie. Bro, Jerry fuck should be. no. Hell no. <laughs> I think, here's the thing. I think at a certain point, there should be a cutoff because there are owners in the history of the NFL, Larry Hunt, the Larry yeah. Hunt Trophy, you know, who revolutionized the game. There's oh, yeah. no, There's the nothing Rooneys, else yeah. now that is going to be revolutionary yeah. unless you – like are the one single owner who is able to kick out Dan Snyder. I could see a Tom then Brady. Then you deserve to be in the Hall of Fame. After I could, that, I could like, see a Tom Brady award later down mm, the line. I would fucking hate that. Anyway, I hate it, but yeah, probably. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I don't know, yeah, guys. <laughs> so and picture what about this. It? So picture this. Okay, <laughs> that's the worst field. Trip imagine, ever. imagine. Let's see. I'm trying to think of a good example. Imagine. <laughs> imagine you are the United States, and you have Alaska, mm-hmm. and you're like, hey, uh, Canada. You can have a good chunk of Alaska. You just have to follow our rules and you guys would be okay. Let's say, you know, you guys can have parts of Alaska. You're fine. And then that goes well for a while. Then all of a sudden the Canadians start taking that land. They go, man, fuck the United States. We do whatever the fuck we want. We're Canada. We're going to do whatever we fucking want. Fuck them. Mm -hmm. That doesn't sound very Canadian. Doesn't sound very Canadian at all. Not at all. It's like Civilization Gandhi, um, the video game. Sounds more, <laughs> sounds more American. Right. Because well, 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 it was. Anyway, no. And so then the Canadians are like, yeah, fuck that. We're going to have our own rules. This right. is fucking a. great. And then, huh? A. A. Oh, yeah, A. We're going to have our own rules, A. a. And um, We're sorry if Cholo. you don't like that. <laughs> it's not what this is a boot. <laughs> Ch- Cholos and Canadians, A. Go one link. Anyway. Uh, oh, so, man, I like that. That was a good one. That was no, good. That, that was that low was key as fuck. You should have put more up his ass like that. That was good. That's an observation I've yeah. had my whole life. Anyway. <laughs> and so the Canadians are like, fuck the United States. The United States goes, hey, you guys really need to listen to us. We gave you that land for free. It was just so you guys could chill out and calm down a little bit. Calm down. And they're like, nah, Fuck you, America. And so then you send some army to go, all right, well, let's go fucking talk to these guys real quick. And they start blasting. Yeah, they're clearly they start wilding blasting out. Shooting. Let's just settle things right. down. Right. And yeah. they start blasting. They kill a bunch of Americans. Yeah. And they're like, what the fuck, what Canada? Happened, man? We thought you guys were cool. <laughs> and then so we then then the Americans go, okay, fine. We got to bring our real guys. And yeah. then the next day they go in and just fucking eliminate the entire place. Yeah. That's the Alamo. Because the Mexicans were like very hey. insignificant in the grand scheme right. well, no, at the time well, because, of what you guys were thinking. <laughs> so it was just like, yeah, what, what the fuck happened here? Yeah. So the, for them, it's happened. a heroic movie, right? Come on. No, because here's the real. The, here's the real story. At least the gist of it. It's the uh, real story. The, yeah, the real story. <laughs> it's not even the, the gist. gist. It's what so it the, is. Yeah. So uh, it was. Um, what type of Americans were being welcomed in that part of Mexico, into uh, the Alamo? So not necessarily even Americans, but it was like German families. Yeah. German families. Yeah, German families. Czech, all that. Yeah. yeah. Right. Pretty Several much anything that was... Whole, yeah, lots of Texas. Yeah. Right. Seguin area, yeah. Lots of white Texans. And Texas... Anglo-Saxons. Anglo-Saxons, if you will. <laughs> and, um, and the Mexicans were like, all right, cool. Hey, we'll help you out. You're under our government control. Here's a piece of land. You guys can till it, work yeah. it, make it yours. But you got it. You're Mexican now. You're a part of the Mexican government, but you guys are on your own, handling your business, right? <laughs> and then yeah, and, ain't but, nobody trying to change. And it. as we established, <laughs> yeah, as we established, yeah. Mexico didn't have Mexico didn't have slaves. No, that's different than the South and the United States. So they're like, okay, no slaves, we're cool. And then the Germans, the, the Anglo Saxons, they started being like, well, this is our land. This is our place. We're gonna make it we our like own. We like slaves around we here. Need, <laughs> we need. You know, we yeah. need around here. We need some. We need some of these folk to start working for us. Yeah. And by working for us, I mean for free. Yeah. And and Mexico is like, hey guys, maybe don't do that. <laughs> yeah. and, and mind we you, the, like the craziest divide. And here's the thing. Um, let me see, Mexican army 
Co- um, what do they call it? Not costume. What they, when the soldiers wear their uh, uniform. 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 That's what I'm looking for. God damn. <laughs> because I, yeah. Man, I was no, no, no. Because look at because when you think of like the Mexican army during the 1800s, 1700s, whatever, right? Right. What does your brain think sometimes? Like when you're thinking about fights, you're thinking. I think when well, at least when I first thought, mm-hmm. I was like, oh, the Mexican army. Oh, they're just a bunch of ragtag guys. You're thinking no, about Zapatistas. No, it's a legit army. No, yeah. Uh, what, we took Texas I had, history. We know. Oh, well, I, yeah, I, well, I did it because I thought all. They Texans don't teach were, you that in California. <laughs> see? Hey, I thought all Texans were grubby animals anyway. So, but no, you look at their uniforms, like, oh, they're fucking legit. Oh no, they was very regal. They're in, uh, they were, yeah, Spanish. Uh, they had uniforms. Yeah, like Texas. they were like Spanish cousin yeah. like, style. Right. Yeah. They didn't have fucking uh, raccoon hats and Bowie no, knives and shit. That bullshit. Right. And vests and vests of uh, cowhide and small, stuff. No, yes. had uh, uniforms. Actual and shit. uniforms. A real army. And so, yeah, a real army that could do real damage to you. But there were the Anglo-Saxons talking crazy, talking about, we want slaves, and this is our land, we're going to take it over, it's our yeah, fort, not even America, not, us. Not at the time, but the same the mentality. Yes. Definitely the mentality that we it's see. The man, yeah, because yeah, Texas wanted to be its <laughs> own shit, country, yeah. but it right. was that shit. Right. It was a mixture of both Texan act of attitudes and American attitudes, right. the brashness of both. Right. Yeah. And so yeah. Mexican, the Mexican army was like, hey guys, they sent some guys, and they're like, hey, right. y- you guys are part of Mexico, you know this, right? That was the deal. That's the deal. Yeah. You, you got some time to chill the fuck out. And they're like, fuck you. <laughs> All right. That was Davy Crockett. Da- yeah, Davy Crockett. Davey Crockett. <laughs> fuck you. I got my hands a knife. That's how we sound. Yeah. Fuck you. Fuck you. <laughs> and so then. Uh, an old man. And yeah, right. so then they, they retreat. They come back and they're like, hey, we don't know what to do with these fucking white folk. What do they? What do we do? All right. Uh, send send some guys. We'll, our, we're pretty, we have a pretty good army. Go send some guys. We'll fuck them up. We'll send a good battalion, and we'll take care of this because they don't want to fucking learn. They go and they attack the Alamo, and they're like, "Oh shit, these white guys got hands!" Because <laughs> the guys they had cannons and they were yeah. shooting, and they're like, "What the fuck are these guys doing?" And they're what are they on about? Are crazy. They're crazy white <laughs> yeah. guys that just the, and the Mexican army's like, "We didn't think these guys were that fucking serious about it." Fuck. Yeah, that's really what it was. Kind of a caught off guard right. type of thing. Like, wow, I didn't know we were here. Right. And so, yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah. And so and so they're fighting, they're fighting, they're fighting, and like, I retreat. Fuck this. They go back and they retreat, and the general's like, "What the fuck happened, guys?" Like those white guys are crazy. <clears throat> what the fuck? Uh, all right, let's really go put them away. <laughs> they send another follow-up army, and they destroyed the yeah, fuck out of them. Yeah, they wiped them the fuck out. A lot. And you know, they say, "Hold on, let me see if I can find some uh, portraits." Yeah. So yeah, they're, 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 they broke the wall, and there are the white guys with their fucking cowhides. Fucking just, David Crockett, David with Crockett, musket. right? All the blue are all the Mexican army guys, right? So they're, they're fighting tooth and nail. All the guys from the Alamo, you remember? There's a lot of white anger there. Exactly. Yeah. All, they all died. <laughs> yes, they did. And a fun fact about the Alamo, I've been a couple times just to see just to, know, been, just to see it. Yeah, I've been twice. You're looking for the basement. Um, if you look, It's very small. It's a Pee Wee Herman reference. Ah. There's no basement of the Alamo. Anyway, <laughs> if you look at the cannons, because they have real cannons from the Alamo yeah, that yeah, are yeah. there, and they stand them up on their side. Mm-hmm. <laughs> They're all filled up. They're yeah. all closed off. All the ends are cut off, so mm-hmm. they can't light. All of them are filled with like metal material, yeah. mm-hmm. and all the wood and all the stuff that you use for the cannon were stripped entirely. Yeah. They salted earth the entire Alamo, and most of it's destroyed. Like they have a yeah, little a lot a diorama of filled in. Yeah, yeah, they have a little diorama. Like the Alamo is pretty fucking huge, or at least was. It was, it's and very all that's small left now. That that is, shit is not to size. Right, that, <laughs> the Alamo is small as fuck. <laughs> right, hey, look at that. The Alamo is massive, and full of man. Not at all. So when you look at the, it things, literally is a thing. If you go see, you'll be like, oh fuck, that's it, and yeah. then you have a, a whole afternoon left. Right, you're like I didn't River expect walk. this. You yeah. Can, yeah. River Walk is River fun. Walk. <laughs> Six Flags, there's plenty of more shit to do in San I mean, Antonio. The hotel, like right next to it's haunted though. Magnolia. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, it is. Yeah. It's very. Oh my go god. To that. Yeah. Madame Tussauds, right across the street. Go to that shit. <laughs> oh, I've yeah. been. Yeah. <laughs> so <is> fucking insane. <laughs> There's a f- plenty of other shit around the Alamo <laughs> for a reason. Yeah, Dude, I, you know shit. Yeah, it's like yeah. the Alamo's a 45 minute tour if, if you're that, trying. If you if you try trying. really hard, yeah, and, and you can buy a faux. And they talk really slow. Yeah, you can buy a faux hat, a uh, Davy Crockett hat yeah, with, the, with the raccoon. Yeah, and you can so buy uh, candles and stuff. And then you can go to the Madame Tussauds Wax Museum across the street and Ripley's, believe it or not, which is what I did. Dicks is there. Yep. 
<laughs> not the sporting goods with no, the restaurant. Yeah. Never been. Don't plan on it. Don't want to get insulted nah, I'm while saying. paying sixty five dollars for That's a meal. Yes. Oh wait, no, it's not that expensive. If you bring oh, someone wait. else. Not a single I'm, meal. If you yeah. yeah, you got your wife with you or some shit. Oh my god! Do you know what the Dick's uh, Last Resort, the restaurant? Yeah, where they insult you yes. and, you, yeah, and your wait staff yells at you. Didn't they? Did they really? Did I, they? I, I hope I, so. I literally fucking weird just looked this up this morning <laughs> in a side conversation at work. Really? I, yes. No, okay, seriously. I was about to say, why were you Googling dicks? Yeah. <laughs> oh. No. <dicks. laughs> oh, it's a restaurant. <laughs> Location. Look at There's one in Dallas. Tear it down, replace it with a Jackrabbit Slims. <laughs> no, but Dick's Last Resort, my brother had a hat because they give you the hats with funny words on it. Uh, his said, uh, I miss prison sex. <laughs> <laughs> they pulled no punches at Dick's. Oh, we had a lady flash us. The, the waitress will flash us. Yeah. It was pretty great. That's what Dick's is. Yeah, it was, she was just like, no rules, we were talking right? smack or whatever. She's like, well, yeah, they are real. <laughs> like, well, we weren't even talking about that. Because see? I'm like, oh, shit. Okay. Here's a tip. Yeah, here's a tip. <laughs> Her bra yeah. was on, but it was still pretty impressive. I was yeah. very happy. They weren't real. Miss she was Dicks. joking. It was just, yeah, they were lawless. But yeah, I wonder if you take a, a Gen X or a Gen Z or two dicks. Mm, oh, that's probably why they're close. No, no, but what if you do that? <laughs> <laughs> but what if you do that? But they, they let you kind of sass back. What if like the Gen Z are just completely like a, like roast the fuck out of the millennial wait staff? Do they do that? They're not allowed to talk back, but they can. I wonder I what that know, would I be know, like. No, 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 no. I mean, because they, they, I don't. I've never known them to have great comebacks. Because they're oh, they have pretty good comebacks. They, oh, do they? Really? Yeah. If you really engage them, they'll. If they, if you then why do they fight against this? This engage. Yeah, because point. the thing is, if you engage with them and you're clever and you're respectful at the very that, least, that's a smart group. They will fucking fire yeah. back at you because okay. once you realize they're cool, they'll say some mean shit to you. Good shit. I like yeah. that. Dick's last it's resort. Old school. Yeah. But anyway. Respect. I think yeah, right? that's the end of part one. That's how you one. get respect, Gen Z. That's how you get respect. Let's talk mad shit. To us. It's okay. We can handle it. We don't hate. Well, old Gen Z saved their ass. I don't, ass. I don't like their parents. I'm perfectly fine with them. <laughs> They're great. Yeah. Gen Z, isn't Gen Z's parents our parents? Gen no, X. Gen X. And boomers, too. Yeah. Okay. Because okay, boomers, so many fucking boomers. Yeah. 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 I got boomer parents. Yeah. They're cool. They actually adapted and survived. Like my sister's Gen X, and dude, <laughs> our dad was yeah a boomer. So dude, oh, know. my dad is. My, my parents are super boomers, and yeah. they're fucking cool. You too, you have that it's too, possible. Yeah. yeah, it's possible for boomers to be cool. Because yeah. like my mom, no, they're okay. No, because like my mom. Oh, no, no, no. <laughs> what I'm saying you know? is though, Gen X has no fucking excuse. Is what I'm saying. No, they're the like, trash. Like this is like, straight up, <laughs> this is from my mom. Okay. And my mom grew up in a time where like. Uh, gay people were like a pariah like they didn't know a lot about gay people right. so my mom grew up not necessarily not liking them or being homophobic but just like what I don't know anything about them fucking whatever mm -hmm. and then she like this is years afterwards and she was like yeah I had kids if any of my kids came out as gay asking me to not love them the same is insane to that me makes no so sense. the fact that there's mothers out there that wouldn't love their kids for being gay. She's like that. Like but, in her, no, in her like, boomer, that's no excuse. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. 1950s brain is they like do that. Don't that. Make sense to me. They do shit you like can, that. But you can, and but, it just catches you off but guard. But you have the ability to use your frames of reference yeah. to adapt, and that was hers. Look, you gotta remember. Look, boomers, we just deal with them because they're every fucking one. It's so many of them, and they're our parents. Right. And the thing about it is, it's like, yeah, no, like, yeah, you were hippies. Like y'all had a war. Right. Y'all had some shit. Civil oh. rights movement. And all it wasn't that even jazz. Shit that they was like was unique to them. Them motherfuckers stole mm -hmm. everything from like native culture. Yeah. Oh yeah, it's right. yeah, like, it's true. Fucking hippies. Like I, every time I hear like folks say like, "Oh yeah, my dad's a hippie." I'm like, "Great." So he's a jackass that stole some. He just shit. stole a bunch like, of Native American yeah, things. Yeah. And then, yeah. Like, now, <laughs> Doing fucking ayahuasca and that's the yeah, one. Yeah, that was fucking, it. Peyote and shit. Yeah, it was just it's like, like no, yeah. There's there's a reason why our fucking medicine is about to become extinct because you jackasses stole that shit. Yeah, wearing cowhide vests. Right. Yeah. No, <laughs> like, no, because ayahuasca like, in particular, it's real yeah. popular with comedians now. Uh, yeah, right. And the toad uh, is also the toad. People are looking toads again. Oh uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yes, it's a problem. Actually, doesn't do anything but get you fucking it will sick. Kill, yeah. yeah, or kill you. <laughs> it can it can, can kill, kill you? you. Yeah, right. but it's, it's just like gonna every, get you sick. Every shit. one of three cases you die. But so yeah. Like, but, but yeah, it's like ayahuasca is taken. The peace pipe. Remember that was a big thing. Peace I'm smoking the peace thing. pipe, man. Woodstock. Pretty much anything that ends in the word man, man yeah, it's it not was. good for the 60s. Yeah. But our children, all that. That's know. the end of this first part. We're gonna switch shows now. So if you're listening on the post review and the audio. This is the end of the show. Thanks for listening. You again Thanks for didn't watching. Let me finish my point. What's your point? I'm sorry. God. What was the point? What point were you trying to make? Oh, just that. Yeah, no. Gen Z's okay. Millennials okay. Boomers. We got to deal with our parents. What can we do? We love them. Fine. Gen X sucks.
Next segment. You've made that point <laughs> many a time, Tommy. I'm going to make it a million more goddamn times because they're terrible, Sammy. They're fucking terrible and they are a detriment to this country. We'll be right back. And, <laughs> and don't piss on the Alamo, man. That's, that's sacred ground. Well, not for Mexicans. The people uh, that died. They died there, for, yes. No, for indigenous. What oh, do you think, what do you think Alamo was built? Alamo was a fucking church. Bro. It was, like, it was church. built on a fucking Native American. <laughs> it was stolen cemetery. too. I'm was sorry, set, I forgot that they were stolen also. Mounds, it was all stolen <laughs> shit. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so, <laughs> I apologize. Oh you are dude. right. <laughs> and, and, Not the structure. <laughs> Hey. Just the sentiment that you should remember losers. Oh, destroy the building, man. <laughs> yeah. Fuck the building. But the whole thing about the remember the Alamo, they were fucking losers just like the Confederates were losers. But we seem to praise losers in this fucking oh. country for whatever reason. Well, here's oh. and, and the last thing, guys, <laughs> because you guys talk about, I don't know, Texas history. Right. Let me learn you guys about the missions. <laughs> But that's a story. Oh, no, we don't want to do that. Time. We don't even fucking know huh? about the missions, man. We, we, have, we could drive out places. Our, our California. Well, you know where a lot of them are? Because I've driven well, in the middle of oh, nowhere yeah. and seen them. And I'm like, no one talks about this oh, one, bro. Oh, <laughs> missions, so the, the California missions, missions though. Yeah, y'all have Real, a shit ton. We're like yeah. 12? <laughs> Fuck. Yeah, so like so in Texas, we got missions going up and down like the uh, main fr yeah. uh, Rio River. And all of them are named after different, like, stars and different, like... Uh, yeah, I learned that shit on a road trip with my yeah, girl, man. like, a long, long time ago. Yeah, man, fucking wild. And then, like, like yeah. it, they were all, of course, built on ceremonial grounds. Yeah, and it's weird to, like, the middle of the night, you're on a road trip, you're like, is that a fucking... That looks like a mission. Yeah. Oh, no, that's a mission, yeah. yeah. This is... Like, no one talks about the rest of them. <laughs> like, it's right. a bunch of them out here. Yeah, man. They were all, like... Uh, Original public schools and Catholic churches. And yeah, they fucking took kids, man. Yeah. Dude, yeah, no, we, 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 the, the Canadians got into a lot of hot water about all the revelations about oh, their indigenous man. schools. Oh yeah, they oh, great. California, <laughs> California, we got fucking field trips to these missions. It's like you mandatory. Know where, you know where the last uh, Catholic indigenous or Indian public school was? Hmm. Mississippi. No shit. And it just closed like in 2000. That that's, yeah. on, that's on brand. Yeah. <laughs> that yeah. is very so on brand for Mississippi. All the bodies of children that they're finding in like Canada Can yeah. under like the fucking playgrounds. Yeah. Bro, U.S. isn't even touching that shit. Yeah. Oh, they're they don't like, want to oh, do an excavation hey, in this bitch. Like that, hey, it's everywhere. Guys, yeah. That, that's why the Alamo's been under construction for so long. Can I tell yes. you a fun fact oh, about LaGrange? Right. Sure. So oh, my dad. Longest was, outro ever. Yeah, no. My dad was a part of the excavation crew. They were renovating the courthouse. Mm -hmm. <laughs> they found uh, 12 bodies, basically, but it was all bones. Yeah. And it was like, he had to sign an NDA. Mm -hmm. <laughs> like, yeah. Yeah. It was a whole thing, like, do not talk about this. No one explained. No. That's why the, the slaves that they were Native American. That's why the Alamo's taking so long to renovate. Yes, they, yeah. they yeah. keep no, finding it bodies. No shit. <laughs> yeah, it's a fucking war zone. <laughs> yes, it's gonna be but, bodies galore. But there's that our bit. list: Solano, Rafael, San Rafael, Rafael Francisco, Jose, Cla uh, Clara, Santa Cruz, Batista, uh, Carlos, uh, Soledad, San Antonio, San Miguel, San Luis Obispo. <laughs> La Purísima Concepción. Inés, Santa Barbara, that one's really pretty. That's the one I went to my old house. Uh, San Buenaventura, that one's pretty. Um, yeah, all, those are all the ones. And they're all lined up on the 99. If you go to the California 99, that's how you get to all of them. Yeah, they, they are just all lined yeah, up. Yeah, yeah, so it's just like, yeah, they're all so lined up. So point is, that's why we're going to talk about part two, which is Catholicism and Latinos and Mesoamericans and, and how it's all crazy. <laughs> and also how black folk are hated in Wakanda forever, oh. according to one guy that you oh. talked about and we've oh, talked Jesus. about in the pre-show. We'll be right back after these commercial breaks, but if this is on the audio podcast, this is the end of the show. Be sure to click over to the part two of this show. It's going to be the same cast, same time, same place. But if you're watching live, got a few commercials. We'll get to those in just a few bits. We're going to refresh our beverages, uh, get um, Manscaped Dad out for you, even though you've already seen it in this episode. And we'll be right back, but that's it for us. Time for us to get on out of here for this episode. We'll be right back, live listeners. Don't leave. Oh. We'll be right back. Thank you, guys. We'll see you in a little bit. Take a real quick little bit. Bye, everybody. Likita oh, loca! I got everybody saying. <laughs> uh, proc.